What's up everyone? Callum from Western Table Soccer here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a brand new series for the channel and hopefully a series that is going to be long, long running into the future. It is the Westwood Table Soccer Painting Academy sponsored by Santiago Table Soccer. More about those guys in a minute. This is the introductory video then, and in this video we're going to tell you exactly what paint you're going to need, what brushes you're going to need, and where to get your figures and bases. But before that, let's introduce our team. Now you guys... ...when you guys chose Feyenoord. Now we are doing the Feyenoord kit from 1958 to 59. Let's hear a little bit more about Feyenoord. Feyenoord were formed in 1908 as Wilhelmina and in 1912 changed their name to SC Feyenoord based around the neighbourhood in which the club was. In 1974 they became the team that we all know them as today, Feyenoord of Rotterdam. They play their home games at the Quip, the Tub. Feyenoord's main rivals are Ajax. The fixture when it's played is known as the Classica. 15 Eredivisie titles. 13 KMVB Cups, 4 Johan Cruyff Shields, 1 European Cup, 2 UEFA Cups, 1 Intercontinental Cup. I know what you're thinking, that's all well and good Cal, but pff, what do I need? I've got you covered. You are going to need bases, discs, figures, a box, a goalkeeper, a rod. I got you covered on that as well. As I mentioned earlier on, this series is sponsored by Santiago Table Soccer. Marcus Santiago Table Soccer has stepped up and he has given you guys a discount on the bases, the discs, the box, the goalkeeper, the rod and figures. For this set, you're going to be able to get everything for £8. There is a link in the description of this video which will take you directly to a special painting academy page. There are four base and disc combination options. You can go black base, red disc, the reverse, so red base black disc we're going to have a red base white disc and a white base red disc so you've got four different color options there's also going to be a couple of goalkeeper rod color options in there for you as well so in terms of what you need to paint on this i've got you guys covered all the bits you're going to need in terms of your figures and your bases get over to our sponsor pause this video get yourselves over there now make your choice get your order in because you're going to want to get it delivered and get it in there before we do that first video the other thing is it is time limited so if you are watching this video in four weeks eight weeks nine weeks time years time by all means get over to market santiago table soccer but the price will no longer be as low as it is today what we're going to do now we're going to tell you guys what brushes and what paints you're going to need two so this is what i use here at westward table soccer Sable Synthetic, Windsor and Newton, Scepter Gold 2 in a double zero. This is what I use for quite literally everything. Bulk painting, stripe painting, detail painting, badges, everything I use for this. The only time I'll probably use my zero is if I'm doing a shirt all in one color or maybe doing the shorts all in one color. So I would recommend that you guys get some of these. I will leave a link in the description for where you guys can get these from. I would also recommend I use old skewers now you will need these to mix your paint when you've got it you can use cocktail sticks if you want to um my old man back in the day used to use a screwdriver but i use just skewers snapped in half to mix my paint around so i'm going to be as i always do on westwood table soccer i'm going to be varying up my skin tone so i'm going to be using three different colors for my skin tone i'm using matte 61 i'm using matte 234 and i'm going to be using matte 98 for, for the what kit itself 153 matte red this one's going to be involved a lot really really nice color to use i'd advise getting one anyway because if you are going to paint your know, red is a really really common color the other color you're going to need is matte 33 the only other color i'm going to suggest that you guys do try and get hold of is an acrylic white the reason i use acrylic white is because humble white is rubbish and this stuff is really really good for setting out my space for badges and if I'm making any little errors or I need to use some coloring details etc etc this stuff is brilliant again there will be a link in the description for all of our humble paints there the final color that you guys are going to need to get hold of for the shirt is either going to be a 154 yellow or what I'm personally going to use 
a Citadel Flash Gits Yellow Acrylic. The final stage on this team, as always, we put in those hair and the boots on. Now, the socks in this kit are black, so I'm going to be using probably either 160 or 234 for my boot colours. It's a 1950s kit, so it's going to have brown boots. It'll be one of these two, probably more leaning towards this one. But if you've got these two anyway, they'll work. If you're only going to get one brown, use two, three, four. The last thing you're going to do is put those hair colours on. So I'm going to be using 74, which is great for blonde. I'm going to be using two, three, four for light brown. I'm going to be using 160, 98, and matte 33. So some of those colours will be used more than once. And they're so, so versatile for doing hair, for doing boots. And for especially with colours like the black, you also use on the kit. So that is all the paints you are going to need. Now so that's everything that you guys are going to need. Remember, get over to our sponsors, Santiago Table Soccer, and pick up that absolutely amazing deal that he is offering you guys to get every single part you are going to need to paint onto for this set. It's going to give you two different box options. You can get a plain white box if you want to design your own box or get yourself a custom box sticker made. Or if you want to, you can just get a bog standard Santiago printed box. If you guys have any questions at all about anything I said in this video, anything you're not sure about, if you've got any questions about what the series is actually going to be about, please get in touch. You can email us westwood.ts at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter at westwood underscore TS. You can go through our website, we've got a contact form on there, or quite simply guys, leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you're going to come and join me for this one in 2021. Until then, have an absolutely unbelievable Christmas, enjoy yourselves, have some food, have some drink, get some presents, have a good time. Join me in 2021, where we are going to be creating Fire Nord from 1958 to 59, with you guys, we're going to be doing it together absolutely unbelievable enjoy yourselves have a great christmas till the next one stay safe